Every morning, we're given an option to brush our hair or not brush our hair. And sometimes you can tell who did what. Hey guys, my name is Nikki Limo and you're watching Ask Limo. Look at you. I took your questions from YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter and now I'm going to answer them. Let's go! What video editing software do you use to make your videos? I use Adobe Premiere Pro. I got this thing called Creative Cloud where you basically pay a monthly fee and you get the whole suite of Adobe products. So I always have the most updated version. I have Photoshop, I have Premiere, I have, you know, the other things Adobe makes. I don't know what the fuck they do, but I got them. Can you juggle? No. Can you dance? Yes. Have you ever let a friend of yours in through the back door? I live in an apartment and there's only one door to get in from the outside and that's the front door. So no. What did you do before you got into comedy and YouTube? Did you have a normal slave job? Uh, yeah, I did have a normal slave job. I was a waitress for 10 years. Although it was a slave job though, I made a lot more money than now, which I don't think slaves made any money, so in retrospect, it was probably a pretty good thing I had going on. But I have my freedom, so that's something slaves don't have. Freedom can't buy you groceries, so. What is the favorite thing you like about yourself, and what is your least favorite thing about yourself? I like that I can understand both sides of something, an issue, or a topic. I don't like that I fall asleep while driving sometimes that puts people's lives in danger, and it's no good. If there was a Nicki Limo drink, what would be in it? Eminem? Then I could say that Eminem is in me. Uh... What was your first pet? My first pet was a goldfish that I won at the fair, the Santa Barbara County Fair at City College, and I named him Crinklebine after the cat in the hat. The goldfish and cat in the hat, his name was Crinklebein, so I, named, I copied that. I was not original as a child. That was the only goldfish I'd seen named before, so that's what I named him. And he lived for three years, which is way longer than my parents expected him to live for. But when he died, I was so sad, and then we went back and I kept winning goldfish. So I had many crinklebines. They were all named Crinklebine. One Crinklebine got killed under marbles that my mom thought would be a nice decoration in the bowl, but he was dumb. So. What would you do if there was a zombie apocalypse? I actually already answered this in a whole, I made a whole video about what I would do in a zombie apocalypse. I'll annotate it right here if you want to check it out. But basically I talk about how if there was ever a zombie apocalypse, I'd want to be bitten almost immediately. I don't want to be around because I already have a lot of anxiety about surviving in the world with no zombies. It's just like, how am I gonna pay for groceries? How am I gonna pay for rent? How am I gonna do this? If there was a zombie apocalypse, fuck that. I've already been a human, you know? I don't need to continue being a human in a chaotic situation where I'm gonna be having to fight zombies and I'm gonna be having to fight humans because that's what humans do in chaos situations, they start killing each other. As a zombie, on the other hand, I am with a team of other zombies. We're all on the same team. No one's, no zombie is trying to kill another zombie. And we're really just doing it for food, for survival. And I mean, mostly that's what I do in everyday life anyway, is look for food. And uh, yeah, I've never had so many friends. People are harder to make friends with, but as a zombie, everyone's friends. No one's hurting each other. No one's judging each other. It's pretty ideal. Everyone's gonna die anyway. Might as well die as a zombie. How does nuclear fission work? Now, I'm not a nuclear physicist, but nuclear fission by definition is when an atom splits into two atoms and gives off radiation or heat during that process. So a nuclear power plant runs off the heat of nuclear fission as opposed to the burning of fossil fuels like oil or coal or something like that. But the same process, the heat turns the turbines which powers the plant. Uranium-235 naturally undergoes nuclear fission at a really slow rate. So it's like one of the first choices for induced fission, which is when scientists do it, you know, on purpose.
purpose. And what they do is they'll throw a neutron at the uranium-235 atom, and when the nucleus of that atom captures the neutron, it um, splits into two atoms almost immediately. And during that process, it throws off more neutrons, and those neutrons hit other atoms, and then you have an atomic bomb. Hope that makes sense. All right, guys, that's the end of the Q&A for this week. I hope it was as fun for you as it was for me. I hope you learned a few things. I hope you had a few laughs, maybe a few cries. Crying is a healthy thing to do, by the way. I cry every day, and look at me. If you have a question you'd like me to answer, leave it in the comments. I read through all the questions in the comments because I have no lie. You can also tweet me with the hashtag AskLemo, or you can Facebook me, facebook.com slash official Nikki Lemo. Why don't you like my Facebook page? It's not cool enough for you. It doesn't have very many likes. You don't have to love it. You just have to like it. Please like my Facebook page. If you missed the last episode of Self Help, you can check it out right here. I have uh, new sketches every Wednesdays and Ask Lemo every Fridays. So I will see you on Wednesday. Bye. Teenage boy souls. That's what I'm talking about, right, Joe? Slap it high.